The opioid epidemic has taken over the nation, but in recent news, local health officials say here in Wisconsin, opioid death numbers are down and will continue to decline. I spoke with a survivor and with health officials. Health experts and lawmakers across the nation have reported opioid drugs are being overused and misused. But there is hope. Local health officials report a decline in opioid deaths around the state of Wisconsin and in local areas like La Crosse County. So that's what we're seeing. We are seeing a large decrease with the number of prescription opioids that are present in the decedent's toxicology report. So we are definitely seeing a decrease in that, which is good. And I would relate a lot of the reasoning is certainly the awareness but also the implementation of the Centers for Disease Control guidelines. Al Bliss, health educator at Alliance to Heal, says in-town programs like Alliance to Heal, which raises awareness of risk of opioid use disorder, as well as work with healthcare systems and Medicaid treatment providers, are a big reason opioid death numbers have declined and will continue to drop. We also have another work group for those that are incarcerated. What we're addressing there is the interruptions that they may have when they are incarcerated, if they're already receiving medicated assisted treatment, that we want to avoid them having the withdrawal um, because it creates worse problems for individuals. And it's more likely that they're going to um, have recidivism, have the revolving door. Chris Sikorsky, a recovery coach at Cooley Recovery Center, says in the past he struggled with addiction and turned in what once was a weakness into a strength. I decided to take the adversity that I'd been through and turn it into a strength and it allows me to connect with people, you know, where they're at. Sikorsky believes local programs are helping to fight against the opioid epidemic. Addiction is very powerful and for me, myself, I couldn't overcome it on my own, but once I started to become part of the community of recovering people, that made the walk a lot easier and um, a whole lot more fun and filled with more friendship and connection than I ever dreamed possible. Sikorsky says people do not have to fight their addiction alone. The first step is reaching out. That is what he said he did to take control of his life. Learning to reach out for help. Um, we are an extremely kind, compassionate, and charitable community here on the cross. And everywhere you turn, there's somebody who is committed to being that helping hand. And it's part of why he is so committed to giving back, being a recovery coach. We are lucky that La Crosse has a, a vibrant, young, um, youthful, alive recovery community full of people having fun and connecting with one another. Everywhere I go, there's young people who both I struggled in my addiction with and who I work with now um, recovering from their addiction and rebuilding their lives, and that's really inspirational to me. And if you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, visit WXOW.com for a list of resources.